loved one. I'm, of course, John Doe Ryer in Tokyo, Japan. Got another edition of the Ghost Hunters Report for you. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's talk about some dead white cops in Dallas. All right, now at this point, everybody knows about this. It's a huge thing, not only in America, but all over the world. And, you know, and I've seen a lot of things and have my own thoughts, reactions to it, but I thought a video would be worth making. There are a couple of points I want to make. The first one is, no one should be surprised by this. It was only a matter of time before something like this was going to happen. You can only kill enough black people systematically over and over again until eventually one of them starts shooting back. So in no way, shape, or form should anyone be surprised by this. Like I said, it was inevitable, only a matter of time. Second point I want to make is, well, wow. It's a good example of what a highly motivated individual can achieve. This guy was able to kill that many cops, and injure many, many more, and the cops almost had no way of actually taking this guy out. They actually eventually had to send in a bomb drone carrying a bomb itself to kill him. They just couldn't get a hold of him. And he was using tactics he had learned from his time in the U.S. military. So this guy used the same training that this imperialist country used, given to him, for the intended purpose of going to other countries and murdering and slaughtering people and expanding and maintaining imperialism. He turned it back on them. And you see the results. One guy was able to do all this due to that training. That's something to keep in mind. Think about this for a minute. What if an army of people rose up in America who had the same training, the same mindset? Imagine what they could accomplish. Imagine what they could do. Imagine the damage they could inflict. It would be quite an interesting situation. And like I said, that's something just to think about. A little food for thought of what's actually possible, what could actually be done. One guy, one guy was able to do this. Imagine a whole army. We're even a small platoon of people. The third point I want to make is kind of a bigger point. That, you know, the police are really just the front-line defense for the capitalist structure, the bourgeois economic and social order. They're the first goon, goon squad that the people interact with and deal with on a daily basis. So the first group that's going to be attacked or fought against is going to be these police. You know, and people say, well, these police, they have nothing to do with this whole thing. They don't care. They're looking for a job. That's true. Look at the standards across America for what to be a police officer. It's quite low. You know, their, their main function in capitalist society is maintain and protect capitalist interests. Whether, whether they're aware of it or not, or whether they know it or not, we look at that materially, that's their job. That's what they do. So, of course, they're going to do some rotten shit all the time. And eventually, it's going to come back on them like it did in Dallas. And, you know, people will say, well, you know, not all cops are bad. Okay. To make our final point here about that, because that is something that's said way too often. And it needs to be talked about. Let's look at this for a moment. When someone agrees to become a police officer, they make an oath they have to agree to. To uphold all laws. Now, a lot of those laws are not just... They go against the people and go against the people's interest. So they're enforcing a systemic system that is against the people in most cases. So there's no possible way you can say not all cops are bad because they're participating in something that is inherently bad, that is inherently not good. So, no, there is no such thing as good cops. Logically, there cannot be. 
So I don't want this video to go on too long. I just want to get my thoughts out about this. I want to hear what you think of this video and this overall issue in general in the comment box below. Never seen me before? Give a like, subscribe. I'm sure you'll like it. I'm sure you'll enjoy some of the videos I upload. Until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.